Who are the top five quarterbacks in the NFL right now? All right, starting at number five, it is Marcus Mariota's backup. Ryan Tannehill is the man. He's been balling for seven for several weeks right now. He's throwing for 70% completion percentage while getting nine yards per attempt. You know the last person to do that? Mm -hmm. Joe Montana. <laughs> That's okay. a big name, and he's playing that well. That play action is working out well. And it's not just play action. He's completing a, a lot of passes that should not be completed. It's not just him hitting wide over receivers. He is a plus 10 on um, completion percentage, or excuse me, adjusted completion percentage. No, he's been, he's been extraordinary the last few weeks. Weeks. Let's keep going. Uh, Dak Prescott is number four. He's been fantastic. He accounts for 78% of the Cowboys offense, and he leads the league in completions and um, yards. But what you need to know about him, we were talking about Brady last segment, how we're blaming his receivers for drops. Yeah. That team leads the league in drops with 22. So he's doing that without the support that we've come to expect from a guy like that. Okay, number three. Patrick Mahomes. He's outstanding. Three? Yeah, I got Patrick Mahomes at three. He's been injured part of this year, so that's, uh, that brings him down a little bit. But as much as excitement as we have for the Ravens and how outstanding that offense is, the most efficient offense in the NFL when Patrick Mahomes is starting is still the Chiefs. He's still outstanding even though he's not having a 50-touchdown year like last year. Okay, so I have a feeling I know who's one and two. In what order did you put them? I'm going with Russell Wilson at number, at number two. two. Yeah, I love Russell Wilson. He's been outstanding. He gets a lot of credit for not turning the ball over, making big touchdowns, and having time after time, fourth quarter comebacks that he has. He's the best second-half player that we have in this league. Okay, and he is the second right now leading candidate for MVP behind... That man, that man right there, Lamar Jackson. He's better than anybody on here and better than Russell Wilson and deserves the MVP because he's not the best second-half player. He is good all the time, and this team is reliant on him to do so much. His ability to run makes the defense better. It makes the O-line better. It makes his receivers and tight ends better. He's the most valuable player in this league, and he is the most exciting and fun to watch. So here's the deal. We could argue over whether we think Tannehill belongs on this list or not, but the general idea here, if you look at no one's going to argue with the first four. Look at the turn over in the National Football League. I want to show you last year's ESPN.com power rankings of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. And look who they were. Rodgers, Brady, Breeze, Roethlisberger, and Matt Ryan. The usual suspects. Yeah. Not a one of them that is on this year's list. And no one would argue for them. So what is remarkable is. the degree to which the league has turned over at its most important position in one season. It's fun. It's exciting. It's something to look forward to. And if you want to knock Tannehill off, the next name that you're going to bring up there is not any of those guys either. It would probably be Deshaun Watson. And if you do that, I think a lot of people would agree and understand that you do that we're looking at a, a whole new list that looks a lot different from last year last year's and many or last year's list in many in ways. a lot of ways I'm big D Wood into this conversation here as well because there are so many things we were talking about this last week if you were to put Deshaun Watson right now where Ryan Tannehill is you would also have four of the five quarterbacks who are 26 or younger mm. only Russell Wilson is older than that but these guys Lamar Jackson's 23 <laughs> Mahomes is 23 uh, or, or Deshaun Watson is 23 but Mahomes is um, Lamar is 22 the point is these guys are so young Young, this is the future mm -hmm. of the National Football League, yes? This is the future, and all these guys, you know, the, the common common thread with all these guys, these guys can, can – they're mobile and can move. That's not the only that's, common thread. No, that's not the only one. I mean, obviously. Well, but, it, uh, with the exception of Tanner, right. we pointed right. out yesterday, yeah. for a league that for the longest time you were basically disqualified from playing the position if you were African-American, and that was the reality of right. football for, the, for what is still the majority of its history – Look at the turnover. No, I think it's fantastic, and I think it's the, something that the NFL should celebrate. Us at the Undefeated, we dubbed this the year of the Black Quarter Act before we even knew that this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But the NFL should be proud of this. While we're looking at not very many black GMs, not very many black head coaches, those are things that we can be critical of the NFL of, but we should be proud of getting to a point where the top five QBRs in the league – the top five are black quarterbacks. That's a, a, an accomplishment for this league that they should be proud of and celebrate, even in the wake of running um, Colin Kaepernick out of the league. I, no, I, t I totally agree. I'm just the, the whole Tannehill thing. It, it, to me, it's just fascinating because obviously we got the angle of get Adam Adam Gates, who's the head yeah. coach of the All Jets. All he needed to do was get out from under the thumb <laughs> yeah. of Adam Gates and look how brilliant. <laughs> Turns out he was worthy of being a first round. And, and, and that team right there, Tennessee Titans. That's a team that I'm telling you. A lot of people are not going to want to face. Let me finish it with this question. If you gave every general manager of the National Football League the ability to draft their quarterback from wherever you wanted, how many would take the guy in the middle? All of them. Everybody, including yeah. the Ravens, frankly. I think the Ravens have done something fantastic, and this is great. But what Patrick Mahomes is is truly unique. He's the best, he, right? He, he's, to me, the clear-cut number one. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app.
And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.